I'm attempting to um, get my uh, telescoping steering wheel unstuck on the uh, 92 E32 7 series. Uh, I have this uh, lever over here and uh, normally from the factory you were supposed to uh, raise that lever and then uh, pull or push on the steering wheel but as you can see it's totally stuck so <clears throat> apparently uh, from what I read the issue is with this uh, fine spline over here yeah apparently it's packed with uh, hardened grease and uh, some PV blaster or some uh, sort of uh, chemical can uh, dissolve the grease and then you can uh, re-grease it and uh, hopefully that should fix it but first of all that 32 millimeter nut has to be uh, on, uh, undone. So I'll try that and then uh, post my results afterwards. By the way, to uh, to get to this spline, you need to remove this uh, sort of ductwork under the car. It's quite simple, and this sort of knee bolster thing. This one uses a, what is it? I think it's a 10 millimeter. Yeah, that's a 10 millimeter uh, socket. And the rest is pretty uh, easy. To remove the black plastic uh, with the ducts, you need to first, first remove this, uh, this panel, this carpeted panel that goes here, this one. And uh, of course, uh, this uh, lower panel as well. So anyway, I'll try to uh, get rid of that hardened grease and uh, uh, I'll uh, post the results. So after hours of screwing around with the 32 millimeter nut, um, I finally uh, broke it loose. It was extremely, extremely tight and uh, it's, um, uh, it's counterintuitive because you have to turn it uh, the opposite way. So if you were to uh, loosen it uh, Normally, you know, you, you would think that you would just turn it counterclockwise, but actually, yeah, you have to do the, the reverse because it's, it's uh, threading towards you, uh, towards the steering wheel, if that makes sense. So uh, that took a while to figure out. And then um, once it's, uh, it's loose, you can see it's, it's back there. I loosened it uh, completely now. See, it's just resting back there, and uh, so the big issue for me was that I tried to pull really, really, really hard on the steering wheel because that's what I read on the forums. You know, people said you gotta push hard, you gotta pull hard, and all that. But uh, what made what made it break loose finally was. Um, removing the grease with a paper clip so I took a I'll try to show it it's not easy to show it on the camera but <clears throat> I took a paper clip and then I went and picked the hardened grease like in the four grooves there are four grooves uh, all around this uh, shaft and um, you have to loosen all the grease that you see and then I shot some uh, PB blaster uh, towards, um, you know, towards the st steering wheel, if you will. Uh, you know, you can bend the straw of the PB blaster can, and um, you can shoot it uh, towards um, the steering wheel because that's the only way you can get behind behind the spline over here, right? Um, so. I, I let it uh, soak in for a few minutes and then I uh, I pulled real hard and it came loose really really quickly and uh, now I have telescoping steering wheel so uh, I'll make a video to show uh, what it looks like okay so I'm sorry for the bad lighting it's uh, I'm indoors in the garage and uh, I don't have uh, good lights but anyway so this is the steering wheel fully pushed in 
and this is the uh, fully out position so then you would just need to push down the clamp at the bottom and uh, there, you, there you go so this is much more comfortable to me even though it kind of gives it a uh, school bus look but you know um, so it's a lot of work and uh, it does take a lot of uh, bending down and you know getting down there uh, uh, near the pedals and all that it's not it's not a fun place to be but you know to me it's worth it um, it's worth having the the proper driving position because that's where you have you can be really relaxed and enjoy your car by the way something I had not noticed but uh, when I turned on the car I noticed that the gauges and uh, the buttons on the side for the lights are much more visible uh, it's surprising the amount of uh, uh, visibility you gain just by uh, raise, um, uh, pulling the steering wheel towards you um, so that's a great advantage it makes the uh, driving experience and safety and visibility much better so I hope that this video was helpful to you um, thank you